What's going on? For those of you that don't know me, my name is Zachary, and this video is going to show you step-by-step -step how to get a Gala Games node and how to update it to the latest version so that you can receive passive cryptocurrency and NFT rewards by supporting the Gala Games ecosystem. We're going to be running the node using a Windows virtual private server in this tutorial. And you can also do this with a Mac. You're going to find the link to the VPS provider that I personally use in the description, but technically you could use whichever Windows-based virtual private server that you want, and you could also use your own computer too. If you're going to use the virtual private server that I use, you're going to want to click on the website in the description and go ahead and then click on the order form. For each Gala Games node that you want to run, it will require one of the $6.99 monthly servers. If you plan to run multiple nodes, you would want to order extra servers at checkout. Go ahead and click Order Now. Once you're on this page, you're going to want to make sure that the operating system is the Windows Server 2012, the best choice by default, and for the location, Personally, I chose the one which is closest to me, but you can use any one that you want. Go ahead and click continue. Now, if you plan to run multiple nodes, so for example, if you wanted to get three nodes, what you would want to do is update the quantity of the servers to match the number of nodes that you want to run. The reason why you're going to need a separate server is because you can only run one node per machine. Once you select the quantity of the virtual private servers that you want, go ahead and click check out. Go ahead and fill out all of your information. When it comes to the payment method, the one that I personally would suggest is PayPal. You can use your credit or debit card through there. But if you use the credit or debit option here on the website, you are going to have to verify your information. So PayPal, it is a instant option. And so that's the one that I would recommend. After you fill everything out and click complete order, you're going to receive an email shortly after letting you know when your server is ready. Once the server is set up, what you're going to want to do is come to the services panel you're going to want to make sure that you're on the My Services page. And you should see your VPS right here. What I would encourage you to do is set a name so that you know what that server is being used for. And then once you're done, you can go ahead and click where it says Windows VPS. You're going to want to look under the VPS management section for the button that says connect to the VPS via VNC under the various panel options. Go ahead and click on that. And then once it's done loading, you're going to want to go ahead and click launch HTML5 VNC client. Now that we're getting ready to log in, you're going to want to click on the button on the side where it's going to bring out the virtual keyboard. You're going to click the button that says show extra keys. And then notice how it says press control plus alt plus delete to sign in. There's actually a button right here where you can send the control alt delete com command. So you're going to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to bring you to the administrator login. Now the password, what you need to do, come back into the VPS back office where you just launched the client. And you'll see a section that says default server administrator slash root password. You're going to want to go ahead and copy that and then enter it over on the login for your virtual private server. So go ahead and do that. Now what we need to do is change the machine ID so that your Gala node will successfully credit your rewards each day. So what you need to do is click on the Windows icon. And then in the top right, you're going to see the search button. You're going to click on that. You're going to go ahead and type in reg edit. That's R E G E D I T. And you're going to go ahead and enter that. When the registry editor is open, 
what you're going to want to do is click on the edit button. You're going to want to click find. And you're going to type in machine GUID and then go ahead and click find next. It's going to search the registry. It may take a moment for it to pull up the results. Now that it's found the machine GUID, you're going to want to go ahead and right click on it. Click modify. Next, you're going to open your web browser. You're going to type in guidgen.com. You're going to click generate new GUID. You're going to copy it. You're going to come back to the registry and you're going to paste it under the value data and then press OK. You can now go ahead and close the registry editor. That's all you need to do for this part and your server is technically set up. The last thing that you need to do is get your node if you don't have one already and install the node on your server. You can use the link in the description to create a Gala Games account and purchase your node if you don't have an account already. For this next step, we're going to need to go back to the Gala Games website. You can either do this on your virtual private server or on whatever machine you normally use. Once you log into your account on the Gala Games website, you're going to want to click on where it says Nodes. If you already have a node, this will say My Nodes instead. Once you're on the nodes page, you're going to want to go ahead and find where it says get a node and then click it. You can purchase the node with Gala, Ethereum, or BAT. In my opinion, Ethereum is the easiest option. First, you're going to want to check what the price would be for however many nodes you want to buy. And then next, you'll want to ensure that you make a deposit into your Gala Games account. You can do this in several ways. The first way is by just clicking where it says buy now. It's going to show you what the total payment amount would be. And then it's going to say that you're going to need Ethereum to make this purchase. You can go ahead and click receive funds. And it's going to give you a unique Gala Games wallet ID. You're going to go ahead and send your funds to that wallet address. I would suggest depositing a little bit more of your crypto of choice than what it actually says the price of the node is going to be just to ensure that you have enough to cover any additional transaction fees. You can always withdraw the leftover crypto from your inventory at a later time. The other way that you can deposit into your crypto wallet with Gala Games is by clicking on the tab where it says inventory. You'll see the various wallets that Gala makes available for you and you can just simply go ahead and click on whichever one you want to use and then press the button where it says get ETH. It's going to then give you a wallet address which typically should be the same as the one that was provided to you with the other method of deposit. Once your crypto is in your account you can proceed to purchase the node. To confirm the purchase after you press buy now you are going to need to enter your transfer code. You set up your transfer code when you first created your account. And if you're not sure what it is or if you need to change it, you can do that by going to your account and then coming under the security options where it says transfer code. Go ahead, submit your transaction and enter your transfer code. Once you've done that, there will be a confirmation message letting you know that you've successfully purchased your node. There's going to be a slight delay after you purchase your node so that the transaction can be confirmed on the blockchain. You will get an email from Gala letting you know when your node license is confirmed. Once you receive that email, it's time to set up your node. You're going to want to log into the virtual private server or the computer that you plan to run the node on. So let's do that now. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the Gala Games website. Once you're in the Gala Games website, make sure that you log into your account. Once you're logged in, you're going to want to click on the drop down arrow by your name and then go to the account section. From the my account section, you're going to want to click on where it says node info. 
you'll notice how it says zero nodes online if you haven't set up your node yet. But you will have however many node licenses ready to be installed, and you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click download for Windows. Once it downloads, you're going to wanna to go ahead and run it. It's going to take a moment to install, and once it's done, it's going to open up the Gala node software. Once you've logged in, your Gala Games node will immediately start to sync to the blockchain and download the latest version any time that you get the license directly from the Gala Games website. If you've been running a node previously and are having trouble updating it from inside of the node dashboard, you should go and re-download the installer from the Gala Games website. This will make sure that you're running your node on the latest version of the network. For each node that you're going to be running to get rewards, your node does need to be active for at least six hours each day. But since we're going to be running the node on a VPS, we can just leave it running 24 seven. You'll be able to see the progress towards the goal right here on this little slider. The last thing I'm going to show you in this video is the treasure chest. This is where your rewards will show up. If you're using a VPS, you can go ahead and close out of the browser now. Make sure that you do not click the X on your node. This red X right here, you don't want to click that because that will close out of your node. You want to go ahead and close out of the actual web browser so that your node stays online. From the main page of the Gala Games website, you are going to see a button that says Treasure Chest. You can go ahead and click View. And here you will be able to see all the rewards that you have earned that have not been minted to the blockchain yet. You can choose which ones you'd like to claim and then click add to inventory. The one thing to keep in mind is that anytime you go to claim your rewards, there is going to be a gas fee. This is a natural part of the Ethereum network. What I would encourage you to do is leave your rewards inside of the treasure chest until you really need to use them. After you go ahead and click add to inventory, the transaction will be submitted to the blockchain. Once it's confirmed, you will be able to view your claimed rewards inside of your inventory. You'll be able to access the inventory in the top part of the page. To verify that your node is successfully online, you can come back to the node info under your account, and it should say one node online. If you have multiple nodes, you're going to want to repeat the steps that we've done up until this point, setting up the server, making sure that you change the machine GUID, successfully installing the node, and putting it online, and then that way, each node that you set up, once it's online and running, you should be able to verify that right here under your account info. I've been enjoying running a Gala Games node so far, and I'm super excited for the future. By running a node, not only do you receive rewards, but you're supporting an entire ecosystem for the Gala Games network. This includes their projects like Townstar, Mirandus, and even some of the future teasers they've given for games like Fortified, and Project X. Even if running a node isn't something you want to do right now, I would encourage you to create a free account on the Gala Games website using the link in the description if you don't have an account already. That way, you can participate in the community and even try out some of the games that have been released already. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like, and if you have questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help. That's going to be all for this video and I will see you in the next one.